It'll be Roger Federer at the bottom of your screen serving to start the match. Just to let you know, Federer in the first round beat Jose Acasuso when Acasuso had to retire in the fourth set. Beat Jean Rene Linard in the second round and Blake in the third. David Federer did beat Nalbandian when they were in the juniors. That was back in 1998 in the finals, uh, semifinals of the Orange Bowl down in Florida, one of the international events. I don't think that's going to have any <laughs> bearing, but it's a good point to make nevertheless. He knows he can beat him, even though it was a few years ago. And one interesting fact about this matchup, David Nalbandian beat Roger Federer in the finals of the U.S. Open Juniors in 1998. So they are at this stage again at different points in their careers. Well, there you see Federer already selecting when to move up to the net. And if you haven't seen Federer before, this man is, I always feel, a mixture of Sampras because he's got so much power. Not quite as good a serve, of course. And he's got the consistency of Agassi from the baseline as well. Game point. Yeah. Ball went under the net, so Roger Federer holds comfortably to start this game or this match. You do hear that comparison more often than not when you're comparing Roger Federer to someone. It seems like people always say Sampras, Sampras, Sampras. Why is that, though, David? I mean, Federer is not a serving volleyer. Uh, he, he, he's not in on the net at just about 9 out of 10 times. So where is the comparison? I think a, a lot of the time people feel that uh, he's got what Sampras has got, but much more. He's got such creativity. Yeah. He's got, his game is full of personality. He may be a very quiet man, but his game, when he gets very confident, is full of creativity, and he does paint pictures on a blank canvas. Now Banyan to serve at love one. Both these players really do glide around the court. That man in particular, we saw him, of course, at Wimbledon, beating Andy Roddick in the semi-final straight set, and then Mark Philippoussis, it was some of the sublimest sets that we've ever seen in years watching Grand Slam events. Exquisite wow. backhand, that absolutely. Well, here in the United States, Federer really received a lot of attention because of the emotion he showed after winning Wimbledon. I don't think he actually believed he could play that well. And it was a major breakthrough for him. Everyone said one day the former world number one, which he was as a junior, was going to break through. And he finally did it. I don't think he believed he could do it, but he did. But he is playing a, a player here, of course, who's reached the Grand Slam final, Wimbledon of last year when you lost to Leighton Hewitt. 30-15 now for Nalbandian. you got to remember, this is just David Nalbandian's third year on tour. He came out on tour in 2001, his first full year. He's number 47 in the world. Last year finished number 12. The one thing about David Nelbandian, which he'll always admit, is that he hasn't got the most powerful of serves. His uh, fastest so far in this game, 112, and that's probably pretty much his maximum. He might do a little a few extra miles, but he hasn't got a powerful serve, and he's always prepared and knowing that he could be broken at any time. It's probably his weakest area. But his placement is good, and the spin, certainly coming out to the forehand, is terrific because he takes his opponent wide.
game. Yeah, so yeah. Both players hold their opening service games from 40-15, and it is one all. Well, this is a match where Nalbandian will get a lot of Federer's shots back. Um, against Filipousis, who roared through some of the sets against Nalbandian, hammering the ball mercilessly, this man here got everything back. So Federer, in a sense, has got to work his way like a chess match, get Nalbandian out of position and then perhaps move into the net. Nalbandian will only rarely come into the net. So he immediately punished. If he created the opportunity, Federer, his volley wasn't uh, well placed, it's good depth, and now Bandian is on it very quickly. So when he does strike, Federer, when he comes to the net, he must make sure he punches away the volley and takes the point. Excellent chance here for Nalbandian at love 30. You can see why Federer has difficulty against this man because he is unbelievably, for a very big man, very, very quick. He reads the ball so quickly. He's almost in position before the ball's over the net. Federer is actually taller than Nalbandian, but Nalbandian, as you mentioned, big in terms of he's very wide, very powerful, strong. He's certainly the best of what eight Argentines who are in the world's top 100. I think maybe Guillermo Correa is ranked higher than him. Right. A nippy, fast, quick Argentine, but Nelbandian is there or thereabouts. Correa number five in the world, Nelbandian number 13. Better gets it back to 30 all. Yeah, there are nine Argentine players inside the top 100. It's nine now, is it? Another one's arrived. The, the lowest ranked is Franco Squillari at 97. Quite extraordinary. Nine Argentines in the top 100. Oh. Just a bit grey above and cloud, black clouds coming over at the moment. Again, Federer selecting when to come to the net. And even though he didn't punch away the volley, it was so well placed and he was crowding the net. Th this is the secret to Federer beating Nelbandian for the first time. Selection of approach. He's got to come in behind a ball that has Nelbandian off balance. He's come back from love 30 now to have a game point at 40-30. One all, first set. Men's round of 16. So Roger Federer does indeed hold. We stay on serve here in the opening set. Albanian will be serving at 1-2 after the changeover. Well, I just feel there, uh, that's rather a confidence-boosting game for Federer. He was a bit down, wasn't he, Sam? And he came back, and he's a very thoughtful player. I really feel he's like a chess player on the court, in, in a sense, like now Bandian as well. But he's got more shots. He's got more of everything. He's right. got, I feel he's got a better serve by a long way. He certainly volleys, which now Bandian doesn't. His forehand and backhand, certainly his forehand is as sweet as anything you'd like to see. Now Bandian can pretty much match him there. So therefore it's a matter of Fedra not getting involved in the web that now Bandian is trying to spin. He would love Fedra to stay on the baseline right. because now Bandian will continually get that ball back. So Federer, again, he's got to select his shot, come in behind the right shot with Nalbandian off balance, and by and large, punch away the volley. It will put Nalbandian under so much pressure that Nalbandian will uh, make the mistake. So Federer did that in that game. He was down a little bit in that game, but he came in, selected the right shot, and came through. So I think at the moment Federer looking good, but it's early stages. So David Nalbandian, the number 13 seed, serving at 1-2. Held very easily in his opening service game. So he's 
just now Banyan's third appearance in the men's singles draw here at the U.S. Open. Late call, but the proper one. On 15. Well, Sam, the lights are full on. Just brightening up a, a dark day, but the rain is staying away at the moment. Long may it continue. At the moment. Double fall to the match, and now a chance for Federer to see a few break points if he could win this next one at Love 30. Both players are playing very well coming into this U.S. Open, having a lot of success on the hard courts. And so now Bandian losing to Roddick in the semifinals of Canada, one of the U.S. Open tune-ups. Uh, Better going for a little too much. Yeah, now Bandian is uh, relying on his consistency and just trying to test the patience of Federer. Federer's got nothing major to fear from Nalbandian in the sense of a big potent weapon, but it's this blanket that Nalbandian puts on the court, almost like the rain that's been with us the last four days. <laughs> it just hangs there and doesn't go away. Idea. But it misses, and now Nalbanian coming back to 40 30. Nalbanian's won 11 of his 13 North American summer hardcourt matches this season. That includes his three matches here. That's the second miss it off the backhand there to bring it to two all. And uh, that's simply because now Ben is coming on quite a bit of spin. Um, Federer is just misjudging that, that backhand drive. So both players getting down love 30 in their last two service games coming back to win. It's two all. Guys kind of feeling each other out a little bit here. No one's really made a serious threat. We've seen no break points yet. Federer facing his second Argentine of this tournament. Jose Akisusu in the first round he defeated. What Federer would like to do here is to really hold his serve easily. So the pressure is always on the Nalbandian serve, which isn't, as I say, as strong. But Federer's got to do the business here, like sort of erotic, really. Win the serve easily like that and then put the pressure on Nalbandia. First days for Federer, and speaking of Roddick, if, if the seeds did hold, these two would face each other in the semifinals. Oh. Just beginning to build up some pace for Federer. Chance for Federer now to go up. 3-2. Throws in the double fault to keep now Bandian in this game. Oh. 
Okay. So, the number two seed with the hold to stay ahead here in the opening set. Federer leading 3-2. Well, the good thing about Federer is that he's this serve. He served nine first serves, one eight of them. Right. And if you look at Nalbandian, he's got really five first serves and won three of them. So, just on facts alone, I mean, facts aren't everything, but just on facts alone, you know that Federer is a stronger player all round. But this, as I say, this web that Nalbandian has on players. I watched his match against Mark Filipousis, and Filipousis won a most magnificent second set tiebreaker, 12 10. There were some marvellous shots from both players. But although Filipousis won it, he easily lost the next two. The pressure on him was so much. So Nalbandia knows what he's got to do. The longer he keeps Federer on court, test that patience of Federer. Federer may get to a stage, maybe not, thinking, well, I've done well, well this year. I've won a lot of titles, won Wimbledon. I made my breakthrough. I've given a good performance. And maybe this Nalbandian coming at me all the time, maybe subconsciously, it's just a bit too much. On the other hand, Federer will be saying, I've got to keep winning my serve as comfortably as I can because I know when David Nalbandian serves, I know I always have a chance of breaking. Always. There are a few raindrops falling at the moment. So Brian Early, tournament referee, now going to come out and check the court on this changeover. How many days have we had this match Four. scheduled? Four. It's fourth day. Fourth day. Yeah. I was going to do this match, not sure if it was with you, Sam, but yeah. scheduled for Monday, last 16, and they're coming off. Brian Early, I believe telling the players just to hang tight for a second. They're going to put the umbrellas up over their heads. And again, this is pretty much what we expected. Rain off and on before the system moves out sometime tonight. And then, and then tomorrow we should be in the clear. However, it just depends on how much they can get in today. Well, a lot of brightly colored umbrellas going up. Not a, not a big house, as you would expect, simply because a lot of people felt that, hey, what's the chances of coming out here to the USTA Tennis Center, 40 minutes from downtown Manhattan, and would there be any play? But there is quite a sizable amount of people, but the umbrellas aren't going up, and it is raining, but ever so lightly. It's just that little light touch, and it just makes the call greasy. You never know when you're going to come on, when you're going to come back. Very hard to maintain that intensity, but it will be now Bandy and serving now at 2-3, in the opening set, round of 16 match. Roger Federer hitting a winner right away to get to a love 15 lead. It's beautiful backhand. Well, Federer is just a little bit concerned about the dampness. The umpire's just come down, he's checking himself, and I can't see any rain, Sam. It, it's, it's just, just barely trickling. I, I do see some drops, but. They're coming off. Oh. I cannot believe this. Like one point. It, it is definitely not raining like it was. I, I do not imagine they will leave the court because it, it actually looks pretty bright. Look at this guy. I think that's how we all feel. However, Sam, I can now spot the umbrellas are beginning to go up. Not many. I'm up to 10 and I'm just... <laughs> yep, no, it's gone to 15. Now it's going to 20. <laughs> well, it seems like we're under one dark cloud here in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Surrounding the perimeter of the stadium, it is fairly bright. It's an intriguing match. Now Bandian against Federer. Federer, the Wimbledon champion. Now Bandian, the finalist from last year. And there we have David Now Bandian, who has come through quite comfortably in his three matches, including a victory over Mark Filipousis. Federer, excuse me, David. No, that's OK. Federer went to the wrong side of the court. He forgot it was Love 15 and was uh, ready to rece re receive until he heard the umpire, and then he moved. 
So we're resuming at 2-3, love 15. Now bandy and sir. Well, it's a matter here of who's going to settle down quickly, who's going to focus quickly. Both these players do usually focus extremely quickly, but here is a chance for Federer to quickly grab a break and almost pinch the set, if you like. Love 30. And now Roger Federer will have three break points to work with. This is the first break opportunity for either player here in this opening set. Just Federer upping the pace a bit on the last two shots and forcing now Bandian into error. Big chance here for the Swiss player. 15, 15. David Nalbanian still in search of a winner in this opening set. Zero winners, four unforced errors. Federer, three winners, eight unforced errors. So not very sharp on either man's part so far, but another couple of break chances for Federer here at 1540. 13, 13. Well, Federer surprisingly sluggish. I mean, they were good serves, but at 111 miles per hour, not massively quick, and that last serve didn't have that too much top spin. So Federer just a bit sluggish, and he's going to really focus here, and Albanian will try to really place this ball accurately, deep as possible. Standing well wide of that center, cir center service line for the angle. Well, wow, Federer just netting the returns, giving the points to Nalbandian, so the three break points are gone, and it's deuce. Surprisingly, that second serve from Nalbandian, 84 miles per hour, yeah. did have quite a bit of spin on it, Sam, but that's surprising for Federer to miss three successive shots. Yeah, again, Federer just increasing the pace on that last shot with extra angle. And now the fourth break point for Federer in this sixth game of the first set. Now Bandian serving at 2-3. Now Bandian has never been to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open, neither has Federer, each seeking their first appearance in a quarterfinal. David Federer is, is way behind the baseline in these points. He's just trying to take the ball as late as he can to give himself more time. And if he's got more time, he'd certainly be in a good position, but he has more time to place the ball. He really wants to return that ball, if he can, wide of Nalbandian. He wants Nalbandian to stretch for the ball. We're not talking big, that's probably Nal Bandian's fastest <laughs> serve, that, even though it just missed, 117. That's about his maximum, really. Nal Bandian not even getting half of his first serves in so far. <laughs> just out. Certainly went for it. So now David Nalbandian with his first chance to hold. He's shown Federer four break points in this game. Big confidence boost this for Nalbandian, who got away to a little sluggish start. He 
just skipping up and down. He's just getting warmed up now, and if he holds here, he'll be really pleased. And now Bandian finds a way to hold on to even this opening set. At three games apiece. Three games three games apiece. Well, Federer's really got the theory of um, trying to hit more winners than losers. He was really trying to open up there, hoping that two or three great shots would clinch him the game. He's got what, 12 unforced errors and just three winners. He's got to turn that around for winners to be more than errors. But when he is on song, he can really deliver. Federer still has not seen a break point against his serve in this first set. He's been very solid serving. Federer not only trying to get to the quarterfinals for the first time in his career, but trying to become the second Swiss man after Heinz Goodhart in 1985 to reach the U.S. Open quarterfinals. Puntart is actually about um, 30 meters away from us in the commentary booth. Our full-time commentator. Just rushing it, he, against Nalbandian, he can quite comfortably get into a rhythm and select the right shot. He's trying to produce very quick winners here, where a selection of shot, come into the net, put away the volley, will surely give him better dividends. I just think him rushing like that is not too good for him at this stage. But it's 30-15. He's just back, and now Roger Federer up 40-15. Now Bandian trying to become the third Argentine in the open era to reach the quarterfinals. Mariano Zabaleta did it in 2001, and of course the great Guillermo Vilas. And the ace from Roger Federer, his second, that one 124 miles per hour. Gives him a 4-3 lead here in the first. And that 124 miles per hour serve, which is exactly 200, meter, 200 kilometers per hour, fastest of the match. And I just feel uh, Federer is trying to just up the pace. He probably, in that 40 minute or so rain delay, just thinking, well, if I just keep just steadily driving the ball with Nel Bandian, and remember, Federer's never beaten Nel Bandian in four matches. If I just keep driving the ball with Nel Bandian, maybe Nel Bandian will just get the edge over me. So. Federer is just trying to up the pace a little bit more. He did succeed in the previous game. He won a couple of points with some hefty forehands. And he is certainly capable of opening up quite dramatically. But you just feel his best bet is to, hey, get in there for a 7-8 stroke rally. Be patient. When that ball comes a little bit short, drive it deep to one of the corners. Approach to the net with Nalbandian slightly off balance. As for Nalbandian... Well, he'll be content to sit on that baseline, drive the ball back, wait for the opportunity to go for some good angles, keep Federer away from the net. And with that would come success for him. So David now Bandy in the number 13 seed. Struggled in his last service game, trying to hold here for four all, serving at 3-4. Coming to the crunch end of this set, 3-4, so this is yeah. a huge game now. Selected his shot, a very good forehand that caught the apex of the baseline. Ball came back yeah, short and Federer it. moved in, finished it off. That's Federer at his best. Now Banyan takes another look at this one as we'll see it slower. 15. 15. 15. A big first serve from now Bandian, 113 miles per hour. It wasn't the huge pace, but it was right in the corner. Beautiful serve. Down the middle. Probably had a little bit of side spin on it as well. Ooh. 
to volley that off of his shoe tops. Fenner has managed to stay ahead here in the first part of the last two now Bandian service games, but has been unable to come away with a break so far. A point here would give him a couple of more chances, however. Now here's a chance for Federer. Now Bandian not the greatest of second service. Too long. Federer again trying to up the pace. Peter Lundgren, the coach of Roger Federer. 30 all. He's really enjoyed this year because of the, the attitude transformation that has taken place within Roger Federer. Now has much more desire to improve. Albanian had Federer on the defense of the entire point. Quite a few people in the stadium, by no means full, but a respectable crowd watching this match, and they've been so patient the last couple of hours waiting for this game to continue. 40 30 game point. Which has been delayed twice or suspended twice. And really, neither player to this point able to kind of get any distance between the other so far. They've stayed very close to each other. Albanian, though, does not want to lose serve here. It'll allow Federer to serve for the set. Bandian really trying to open up there. He had Federer slightly back behind the baseline. And now another break point for Roger Federer. His first of this game is fifth of the opening set. The previous four coming in the last now Bandian service game. Now Bandian taking much more time here before he delivers this first serve. Roger Federer gets the break, and he could be well on his way to taking the opening set. Such of the Leighton Hewitt there. Come on, says Roger Federer, who has just decided pace is probably his best way in his mind of, of perhaps making a breakthrough against Al Bandy and having lost to him four successive times. Federer serving now at 5-3. Waiting for some fans to take their seats. And the ace for Federer. It is fun to me, David, to, to see Roger Federer finally not just getting by on his talent, but trying to, to use it to, to win tennis matches. I think for a while he just kind of coasted. And there seems to be a lot more going on in the mind of Roger Federer on the court than maybe a year ago. He's a better tactician. I think it's just a matter of this level of confidence and the breakthrough that he made this year won a lot of titles then of course won Wimbledon was huge and it was the way he won Wimbledon he won it so easily dropped just one set in seven matches and his confidence is very high I have to say though in between Wimbledon and here his uh, level of performance went down he seemed tired fatigued obviously he had a lot more media coverage to do give conferences and interviews but 
He's really picked up over the last week. And against James Blake in his previous match, he really came good. Blake played absolutely wonderfully well, the young American. But Federer just delivered just beautiful shots. And I think that game has given him the encouragement to think that if I can beat Nal Bandian, get through to the quarterfinals, I've got a real good shot at this title. 40-15, double set point. Late but loud call. Federer trying to close out the opening set 6-3, if he can pick up this point. Roger Federer does indeed take the opening set 6-3. A strong start for the number two seed. The first set is in the books. Well, Sam, I think we're seeing a little different Roger Federer here in this third session as compared with the first and second, second, second sessions of this match. He is certainly more relaxed. Remember, there's been two rain delays, one of... 35, 40 minutes, and the second one pretty similar, and it's what, 3 2 when they restarted this third session. And Federer is definitely more confident. He was willing to go for his shots much more, even though they, one or two were going out, but he's really upped his level. He's gone up at least half a gear. You can see the way he delivers his shots so beautifully, his timing so good. Look how he's making Nel Bandian stretch there. And there's the skip. That, you know, that skip shows you. I'm confident, I'm up for it, I've gone up half, half a, a gear and he is much more relaxed, he's into this match now and you feel that if there is no rain here this match can develop into something really, maybe even a minor classic. Well these two have played four previous times as professionals, Roger Federer has only taken the first set one time in those four previous meetings, but you see that the statistics from the first set really nothing to boast about for either player it was not what I would call the best tennis in the opening set. I think the two factors there the winners and the unforced errors. Federer goes for more therefore delivers a lot of winners but as he goes for more he produces a lot of unforced errors. So you'll always find Nal Bandian very tight on his Thanks. statistics if you like. Very few aces he's done none so far very few winners he'll just get everything back. He's not known to go to the net Occasionally, if he's drawn in, I mean, obviously he can volley, but not in the Federer mode. Federer has got more shots in his arsenal than Albandian, and Federer now is in a very strong position simply because his confidence is extremely high. So, for second only the second, second time in the five times these two have faced each other, Roger Federer has taken the opening set. It's now Bandian, now Bandian now serving first game, second set. Side out forehand. That was lovely control. And now Bandian just stayed rooted to the baseline. That was a wonderful shot. Not hit with great pace, but just perfect accuracy. Impossible to read for now Bandian. Love 15. David, but it seems like it has definitely brightened up out there. I mean, it oh. seems to be a, a few shadows, some we haven't <laughs> yes. seen, haven't yeah. seen in a few days. Very light shadow, but it's lovely. That shows the sun is shining, or more, in, more to the point, the floodlights are on. See now, Bandy had half thought about going to the net, thought better of it. Now, Bandian's only been into the net three times in this match so far. Federer, 12.
chance for Federer here at 1530, opening game, second set. Short. Now Bandian punishes the ball. Better. He's, he's a good, sorry Sam, he's a good punisher of the ball when it's he's the Better he's not, from somewhere else, mate. not happy with the noise from the blowers. I think that's what he was complaining about, the umpire telling him the noise is coming from somewhere else. sorts of noises around the National Tennis Center today as they are desperately trying to get courts dried off and fans moving from place to place. They're trying to take it over the high part of the net. I just feel Federer, because he's holding his serve so comfortably, no break points against him, he's just, on a Bandian serve, he's just swinging, and all he only needs is a couple of big shots, and you feel like he's going to make a, another breakthrough. He's much more open and relaxed on the now Bandian serve. He's got that freedom to go for it. Game. He's holding his serve so well. Game point. Now Bandian does indeed hold to start this second set, but it's Roger Second's Federer game. taking the first set. So far, David, it just seems like now Bandian <laughs> has not had anything to hurt Federer with. I think you're so right, Sam. He, he hasn't got a, a power-packed game. It, it's extraordinary, really, because he's probably one of the most powerful men on the circuit. He is a big guy, and I have to say he was probably a bit overweight about a month ago, watching him in... Cincinnati and Montreal, he looked extremely heavy and everyone was actually saying, hmm, look a bit heavy and he, he seems to have taken off a little bit of weight which means he'll move a bit quicker. But he's well in this match, one love up and the second having lost the first. Oh. Better serving and volleying, very makeable volley, just simply missed it. of unforced errors here to start this game. There's now Bandy a little bit of a shot, much to his coach's dismay here at Love 30. You know, Federer, always in the back of his mind, knows he's never beaten his opponent. And, and when you lose a couple of points like that, the doubts come in momentarily. Federer went right back at him with the overhead, and now it's Nalbandian with his first great chance of the match. And he'll have three of them if he needs them. Love 40. That's all come about because Federer missed that forehand volley right at the start of this game. Comparatively easy. Way off with that first serve. Break of serve to David Nalbanian. Maybe a string. A very, I hope there's an explanation because that was a, a very loose, loose game for Federer. Well, he's, as you can see, he's changing his racket. I think the string, I'm not sure where the string has gone, but he's he just dropped his focus just a little bit. And that's how good Nalbandian is. He, now, Bandian plays at a very solid level. Doesn't matter where he is in the match, it'll be a long way down. 
and if his opponent just drops his focus he'll be in and he is now at two love Wonderful play from oh, Nalbandian. Yeah, but it seems to me Federer is hitting back to Nalbandian. I, I guess it's Nalbandian easy. really reading Federer extremely well, but Federer can't seem to keep the ball away from it. On well, that previous round, it just wonderfully angled shots from the Argentine. Like Federer scampering all over the court. Fifteen. Fifteen. Well, regardless of ranking, sometimes players match up so well, one player will really like the ball of another player, and it's obvious now Bandian really enjoys hitting the Roger Federer ball and obviously has a, a little bit of a court awareness as to where he's going with it, maybe better, better than some other players for whatever reason. And now Banyan sneaking into the net with a rare serve and volley. It's into 40-15, chance to move up 3-love on Federer here in the second set. Won seven of the last eight points, and there's a huge confidence rush here for now Bandian. Well, he definitely seems to have settled into the match, which was difficult for him in that opening set with the two rain delays. David Nalbandian making it look easy here in the second set. He's well out in front, up a break, and three love here in the second. Well, there's two factors here. Nalbandian's obviously upped his game a lot. He never drops his level, really. It's very minor if he does, but he's gone up a lot. The Federer's just lost his focus. I think he was so pleased to win a set off Nalbandian, which doesn't come his way too often. But he just dropped his focus and it all stemmed from that very first serve on his service game previously and he missed a volley and that seemed to take all the confidence away from him and then he had an overhead difficult and uh, didn't win that point and his confidence just drained away and Federer is a confidence player you know if his confidence is high he will deliver if his confidence is not so good you'll see a run that's just happened here 22 errors from Federer. Now they've only played three games in this set and there's been eight errors. Now in total for Nalbandian there's been 12 errors so you've got 22 to 12 for Federer and so you just find that Federer is a confidence player. Now he could very well come out here and win six games in a row but at the moment it's Nalbandian in charge of this particular set. Roger Federer in search of his first game here in this second set. Better will be serving at Love 3. Better, the former number one junior in the world back in 1998, joining Andy Roddick as a former number one junior here in the men's round of 16. Roddick actually now into the quarterfinals. Two players already into the quarterfinals, both Americans, Andre Agassi and Andy Roddick, who very well could play in the final, whether it's on Sunday or Monday. But a long way to go yet before that happens. Oh. 
my picture. Oh. That's kind of a bad spell, isn't it? Just does not seem to be Federer does not seem to be sharp at all. Albanian just putting the ball back in play, waiting for Federer to commit an unforced error. I just think this is all in the mind that Federer's got to go back to what he does best, just keep it going and again pick the shot, come in and volley. Let's That's an Albanian, he's doing everything everything right at the moment. Nice and steady, just upping the pace, especially with that backhand down the line, which is a wonderful shot, double-hander. Again, Federer mistakes, which are flowing freely now, almost like the, the rain that we've had over the last four days. And David Nalbandian, very close to seeing another break chance. You see the unforced errors by set. Nalbandian has really cut down. Good. And now David Nalbandian up love 40. A chance to get up two breaks of serve against the number two player. Well, Federer hasn't won a point on his serve in this set. He's serving the eighth point and he's lost all seven before. And he's lost both his games to love. And that might have been the second set as well. As now Bandy is now up and commanding two breaks of serve for Love. Now Bandy, sorry, I was just going to say, Sam, now Bandy has only dropped three points in four games. And now broken Federer twice to Love. And now Bandy and Curse starting to work its way over to the Federer side of the net. You're so right. I think it has a lot to do with it. It does play on your mind all the time. Federer needs a game, not necessarily to win this set because he's two breaks down, just for his confidence because it's gone absolutely rock bottom now. You see Federer just three points won this entire second set. That will, that statistic will continue as we're midway through the fifth game of this second set. chances to go up five love for now Bandian. Better the only other set he's lost in this tournament was to an Argentine in the first round, Jose Akisusu, Akisuso. If you say so. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Mm. Lost the opening set to him in the first round. Oh, that's Federer at his best and stops a, a huge run of points from now Bandian. Forty fifteen. You almost feel Sam the Roger Federer here can just swing freely because he's so far behind that he might as well get his shots really working, those big shots. Why not? There's nothing to lose at this point. Bandian trying to move ahead. Five love here. He's up 40 love in this game now. 40 30. Now, one thing perhaps all of us uh, watching this match may have noticed. Roger Federer just loves pace coming at him. James Blake did it against him and he countered beautifully. Andy Roddick is another one, loves the pace. If you just take a little bit of pace off, just float it a little bit, Federer is prone to a little error. Now, Bandian usually varies it a lot. And if Nalbandian attempts to 
out hit Federer, he'll lose those points. We've gotten back to Deuce now. And it will be a game point again for now, Bandy. Just things not going Roger Federer's way in this second set. Now, I don't want to be awful about this. It's just getting a bit dark. Black cloud just beginning to come over the stadium. With a bit of luck, it might just blow away and we can continue watching this this battle that could go certainly a two, one set all and into a third set. And there it is. Now, Bandian with the winner up the line secures a five love lead. He's one game away from evening this match. Well, now Bandian's only dropped six points. All on his serve. Federer, who's going to come out to serve to save the set, has still to win a point on his serve. So the whole match has really been turned on its head. Federer, having taken the first set 6 3, the love 5 in the second set. And you just wonder why it's happened. You just feel that. He just lost focus. As we're watching now, Banyan serve. Federer's having a, a long chat with the umpire. You just don't feel he's, he's that keen at the moment. But it's Nel Bandian who is in charge, and the, his confidence must be hugely boosted by his sprint through this game and this set. And Federer is just having won the set. He's not happy. Well, he won't be happy at five love down, but the courts are dry. It's a bit dark, but the floodlights are on. So it's can't have any complaints. He doesn't seem to have any injury, so it's got to be to do with his head and a lack of confidence. Now, uh, Federer has, has not come out very sharp after that second rain delay. It's weird how that happens, but it, again, these guys are, are just so not used to the situation we've had here. The first rain delay, it was now Bandian who was a little sluggish, and after the second one, it was Federer, and unfortunately for Federer, we haven't had a third rain delay, so he's going to have to work himself out of this. David Nalbandian, Argentina, the number 13 seed, now a game away from a one-set-all match. Spot in the quarterfinals on the line. I think this is a big game. This is a big game for Federer. Just, just, to, get a get, just to get a point on his serve. He hasn't won a point yet. And so he needs this for his confidence. He is a confidence player. The team, the team. The winner, the winner, the winner of this match will take on the winner of Carlos Moya and Unicella Nawi. Oh, good point, but it goes now Bandian's way. Don't underestimate now Bandian. He is very quick. He reads the game. Look how he reads this. This is extraordinary. And with control. And although Federer does get his racket to it, the control from the Albandian's racket, perfect. You see Federer just saying, look, I've got one game here to get everything together in preparation maybe for a third set in effect, which obviously will happen, but he would like to hold his serve here, put a bit of pressure on David Nalbandian. And then Federer would be able to start the third set, sir. Absolutely. And he's, he's played well. He's, he's really suddenly switched back on again. It's like a light bulb. <laughs> switched it off for five games, and now he's back in tune with two aces in this game and five aces overall. Oh. Serve and volley Hello. pays dividends for Nalbandian. So Roger Federer avoids the bagel here in the second set, picks up his first game, and now David Nalbandian will serve for set number two with a 5-1 lead. Federer definitely has woken up now. He's relaxed, you see, Sam. Five love down. You think, oh, I've got nothing to lose. So he's going for his shots. 
And he used to say, as I said before, he can pull off winner after winner. Oh. Hit him, hit him. And he's annoyed with himself there. He's got to break Noel Bandian twice just to, to go level, minimum, in this set. Better putting Nalbanian under pressure there. Nalbanian can't come up with a passing shot, and now it's 15:30. See Nalbanian talking to himself a little bit here. Just wonder whether Federer can bring off the impossible. Five love down. 15:30. Much more relaxed now. Down for his shots. Is that good or is that good from way behind the baseline? <laughs> and now two break points for Roger Federer to get one of the two breaks back. This is a pointer for the rest of the match. Now Bandian's upping the pace and Federer just loves having a ball hit hard at him. Remember he beat Philip Pousis semi-finals in the final of Wimbledon and Roddick in the semi-finals. Two hard hitters and he coped with them brilliantly. And I just feel now Bandian should just slow his game down to Make sure he wins this set. It's out and Roger Federer slowly crawling back into this second set. He's got one break back, but he's still a break down. It'll be Federer serving at 2-5. Well, well, in this sort of mood, don't write off Federer yet. Five love down, relaxed. Finally got his game going because he had five games of, for him, absolutely appalling play. Relaxed, won his game comfortably with a couple of aces, has just broken Nell Bandian. Now if he can serve here at 5-3, Nell Bandian will have all the pressure on him because Federer is back to his best at serving at the moment and set could still be alive. As for Nell Bandian, he Shaking must be thinking, yeah, well, he doesn't have to blast the ball. He can just keep a nice, steady rhythm, steady pace, stay on that baseline. Make Federer a little bit impatient. He's in charge of this set. He's still in charge of this set. And he's just delivering the ball as he can precisely to the corners. Place the ball where he wants to. Put in maybe one big hit. Slow it down again. At the moment, he's slightly carried away and hitting the ball really hard and Federer's absolutely love that so this set's still on well, last night on this court Andy Roddick and Xavier Melise played and they time, time. would not wait for the chair umpire to call time they were getting up earlier they were so antsy to play because they had been sitting around all day these two guys though waiting for the full allotment on the changeover now Banyan even taking a little extra time here And it will be Roger Federer serving with new balls here at 2-5. He's down one break of serve, up one set to love. Federer now, he's got into a different gear, he's so relaxed. And he's really beginning to pressurise now Bandia. Now if he maintains this form, even if he loses this set, it's, it points well for the Swiss. Oh. See, he just slowed, now Bandia just slowed the ball down with a couple of slices. Didn't put too much pace on it. Federer anxious to increase the pace. Overhead. It's very difficult to hit a slow pace ball. Much more difficult than hitting a hard ball coming at you. And 
Even us players at club standard know that. Is that true, Sam? Yeah, I agree. I'm going to slow ball you next time I play. <laughs> It's a very frustrating play, something we don't see a lot of, I guess. The, the guy on the tour who's in the latter stages of his career now that does that exceptionally well would be Fabrice Santoro. Oh, very much so. Double-handed on both, both sides. sides, yeah. Able He's a wonderful player. Slice and dice, slow the ball down. Well, I just love watching those players who can do that, who can really control the pace. Carol Cochera, another one. He's played yes. pretty well here. Federer with Good another makeable volley. Miles now Bandy to get even here at 30 all. Again, the return didn't have too much pace, and Federer had almost gone through with his shot before it landed on his racket. Second serve, now Banyan taking another look at it. Well, this is where champions are made, you know. Watching Roddick throughout this tournament and in previous weeks when he's been down, he's produced good yeah. serves and produced good shots, and this is what Federer has to do and prove that he's good enough. Although Federer has won a Grand Slam and Andy Roddick has still to do it. He's doing the right thing, he just keeps missing with that forehand volley. Oh, and now Banyan actually shaking his head as that ball went long because he knew that that should have been a winner for Roger Federer. But Federer, that's absolute right tactics. He's just got to execute just a little bit better. 29 errors from Federer. Now Banyan now two points away from the set. Oh, that was a beautiful volley. And Federer doing absolutely the right thing if you can execute those sort of shots. Oh, yeah. And if you notice, now Bandin really hit the ball back really hard. And that was off of Federer's fastest serve of the day, 128 miles an hour. Now, now Bandin just can control the ball, which he can, and float it back, almost try to float it back to Federer's shoelaces. Yeah, he can't close it out, however. Now Banyan's still in it. Again, two points from the set. Second deuce. Set point for David Nalbandian at 2 5. Still light overhead. Big black cloud has gone overhead and past the things stadium. Are, things are looking pretty good at the moment. Yes, yes. Well, Nalbandian had his chance, and then he didn't have a chance at all. Federer now with six aces, three here in the second set. See that ball right in the middle of the line. Shoulder, shoulder high for the volley before the nice easy smash. Here's the volley, and now comes the smash. And with it, game point for Roger Federer. Certainly opening up Federer. His inhibitions are going away, but now Bandian's still in here with this set. Game. Game. And there it is. So Roger Federer stares down a set point in that service game, but comes through with the hold. And now 
He's one break away from getting back on serve. Five love down to five three. Win or lose this set. If he does lose this set, Federer's confidence has definitely gone up in the last three games. He's flowing, he's relaxed, he's going for it, he's attacking. He's trying to get a big serve in and volley away and he's attacking the Nalbandian serve. This has been three good games for Federer, but here's Nalbandian serving for one second. Man for all the craft and If there's anyone that would come back from that deficit, it would be this guy. But then if there's anyone who's susceptible to losing a set six love, it's him as well. He's a bit of an enigma, isn't he? Yeah. Now Bandian is knows he's got to work really hard to close this set out, having led five love. Love Double them. fault, not going to help things. Love is building. Now this is extremely frustrating for Nalbany because even watching the match, you feel like it's Nalbany who's doing all of the work, and Federer just kind of coming in and out when he feels like playing. He's successful when he doesn't. He's not. It seems like the match is in Federer's hands to win or lose. Change, oh, face out, a change of tack there from Pedro. He didn't try to blast Nalbandian. He's very clever. He just hit four or five shots. It's nice and steady. Then he went for the big one. It wasn't quite the right ball to go for. And he missed it. But Pedro is beginning to think here. He's not trying to blast his way through. Well, Nalbandian has made a reputation as a fighter. Now 15-30. Now, two break points for Roger Federer to get back on serve here in this second set. <laughs> and you hear the Leighton Hewitt scream of, come on. And this is going to be a remarkable comeback if he can close back the 5-4. First time we've heard that here in the second set. He did that a lot in the first set. Cleverly there, Federer, again slowing it down, trying to pick the right ball, but he's missed twice now. Still a chance here for Federer, 30-40, 5-3, second set. Federer won the first set 6-3, this round of 16, here at the 2003 U.S. Open. So Roger Federer has taken the last four games to get us back on serve, but can he hold? We'll have the opportunity in just a few minutes. Well, you know, you lose the first five games of the second set having won the first 6-3. You think, hello, I'm not playing too well. And then all of a sudden you relax, got nothing to lose. You break your opponent twice to 5-4. And all of a sudden now, Roger Federer, who's looking up at the screen to see how good he is, He's now 4-5, about to serve. Now, if he starts to think about what he's been doing, that's the worst. He should just put it all out of his memory and just get on with it. Because he doesn't want to start thinking, hello, I'm 4-5. He doesn't want any pressure on him. But his versatility, his variety of shots, and now Bandian just getting a bit tight in these situations, has really given Federer the edge. And he can get right back here, five all, and then he can progress from there. Wow, Albanian has just got to be beside himself. 
Roger Federer, as you see, has picked up the winners here in the second set. Those numbers were a lot lower, just seems like a few minutes ago. Same, same. But he has turned it on here in the second half of this second set, and now Federer will try to even the second set, serving it 4-5 after taking the first 6-3. Well, the weather, the weather is still fine. Just the same sort of cloud cover overhead. It's still there, but it's not raining. And that's always good news here at the US oh, Open. It's, it's great news. And we, we've got action going on all around the ground. So hopefully uh, things will get caught up here. High quality, absolute high quality from both players. Federer really confident, and Albanian putting in a terrific resistance here on the Federer team. That backhand barely comes up. Albanian very lucky to get a racket on it. How about that swinging volley? Timing that requires. Such a difficult shot to pull off for the average player. Well, he does make the game look easy. I'll tell you something, Federer's body language is all different. He's more relaxed at the moment. He's going for his shots, but he's also being selective. And he's playing a little bit more like the way he played against uh, James Blake when he won that lovely match the other night. But at the same time, now Bandian has increased his standard of play and is putting in some good resistance, even though he's being caught here. They're a little over anxious there. Gives Nalbanian his first point in this game, 30 15. And now 30 all, so starting to get interesting here. Now Bandian again, theoretically two points from the set. Better has dropped the last two points in this game. And he's come so close from five love to leveling up at five all. Second serve from Federer. He's not had very much success on the second serve in this set, just five of 15 points. And the double fault gives David Nalbandian a set point. I believe this is his second. Well, it's extraordinary, isn't it? But you always play in a different way. You see. Wherever the match is. Right at the start of a set, you can be relaxed. When it comes to crunch time, it could be difficult. And another come on from Roger Federer as he gets the score to deuce. You almost feel, Sam, that if whoever wins this set is going to be hugely in charge of it. It is Federer, but if Nalbandian can win this set, he's going to be his confidence is going to rise because he's held off this huge surge and counterattack from the Swiss. Pivotal, pivotal moments in this match. <laughs> Late call. Another second serve from Federer. Bad break for Nalbandian. Gives Federer a chance here 
to even this second set at 5-all. would be his fifth game in a row. There he was there. First volley was unbelievable. Albanian waiting on it. Second deuce. Well, he's had trouble with that forehand volley, David. He's floating it. Albanian's floating it back. If he hits it hard, Federer doesn't have to think. But when there's just a little bit of pace taken off, he's made a few errors. In fact, he's made a lot of errors on that now, volley. Another set point for Nalbandian here, his second of this game. of the champion, which he is, the Wimbledon champion, saving these break points here, these set points. Better trying to become the first man to win Wimbledon in the U.S. Open back-to-back -back since Sampras did it in 95. Um, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not at all. Check out these hands. Let the ball get beside him. And now game point for Federer. There it is. Roger Federer has now won five games in a row. And he's even this at five all. I wonder what that does for Nell Van Den's confidence. Race to a five love lead. And you're already thinking, hello, it's going to be one set all. But it's not. And here is Fedra, whose confidence has gone up. He's delivered a couple of beautiful drop shots, and his reaction there to. Now, Bandian picking up that ball was absolutely exquisite. Roger Federer over at his changeover area getting a new racket. Going through his bag. And so David now Bandian with a couple of extra moments to contemplate this situation. Now will serve at 5-all after being up 5-love, as David told you. I think, David, that far more people around the world can identify with David Nalbandian right now than, than Roger Federer. I think your average player's probably been up five love before and seen that evaporate more often than coming back from a five love deficit. You almost feel sick in the stomach, five love <laughs> up and it's five all. Right. Let, 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 let. It can have a damaging effect on Nalbandian, whatever happens in this set. It's unusual at this level, and he's twice dropped his serve. Uh, now 30 love, so now Bandian settling down a little bit, but it would seem to say that it's Roger Federer who's in control of the match. Shot, 40 love. Textbook down the line forehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
Now Bandian stops the bleeding for the moment. He's back out in front, but it's Federer who will be trying to push this second set into a tiebreaker. Well, now Bandian will certainly be relieved, having ended that run of five games which he lost, having won the previous five. So his hopes still remain very strong in this particular set. 6-5 up. Federer has to serve to save the set, and it's one of those odd close matches. I'm sure Federer feels in his mind, hello, I've lost to this man four times. I've never beaten him. How do I go about beating him? And he's had two plans, which is varied throughout the two sets. Initially, good baseline drives, good deep shot, put now Bandian off balance, come in and volley. But we've seen him miss a number of forehand volleys, so he just loses a little bit of confidence. But that's one way of beating now Bandian. And the other way is just to be patient. But if he is patient, it's now Bandian who has, you feel, the more control. As long as he doesn't hit the ball too hard to Federer, because Federer just loves pace. And now Bandian really swept away in the second set to five love with lots of variation and Federer's standard dropped dramatically. But once Federer decided to go for it much more, he's now back in this set. But he, here he is serving at five six down to save this second set. Better dragging his foot on that line, but I don't I don't see any raindrops. Maybe just something on the court. Of course, now when you see a player slide their foot, you immediately look for rain. Is it wet? Yeah. And he is saying that the the baseline is wet. Asking for one of the just ball kids to come out with a okay. towel and dry it off. Maybe just a spot there. Hopefully from perspiration, not rain. And now Federer ready to serve at 5-6. Oh, tremendous play from Federer, who's very positive. Attack from the start of that rally with his serve. And now Bandian, two pretty good lobs, you know, and Federer had to really stretch. His Way stomach back. muscles must be in good condition. He's really going for it, Federer, here. It's a nail biter, isn't it? It is. <laughs> you caught me. Now 30 love for Federer. A little too much. That's Federer though. Do you know, you look at Federer and you think, He's already a terrific player, but he can still improve a lot. Yeah. I, I think he could go on, and if he has the belief and the desire, he could go on and win a lot of Grand Slams. Maybe even this year. But now Bandian's got something else to say. The Wimbledon finalist two years ago. Oh, a bad miss for now, Bandian. Just question whether that ball, that slice from Federer was uh, perhaps going out. Uh, now 40-15. You get the feeling, though, David, that Federer already has all of the shots it, it's oh, he's, physically. He's, he's got more shots. He's got more of everything. It's, it's that's just a matter of putting it all together. A tribute to Nal Bandian because Nal Bandian, his reflexes are good. He reads the game well. He's tactically very good. He's got his own style. Yeah. And there it is. So the second set will be decided by a tiebreaker, which is a good thing for David Nalbandian because 
the last time they played in Cincinnati just a couple of weeks ago. Now Bandian won two tiebreakers <laughs> against Roger Federer. So that's got to be in the back of his mind somewhere. He's been here before recently, come away successful. And the tiebreaker, first player to seven, win by two. One zero now, Bandy. Absolutely absorbing contest, this. Oh. Two zero. Two zero. Now, now Banyan with the mini break. You feel for, in a sense, for Federer. Having crawled back from love yeah. five to five, and well, then he loses the set. You wonder how his confidence will be affected if he loses the set. But he's determined not to. Powerful ace down the middle, 124 miles an hour. His seventh of the match. I would, I would think he would be pretty angry with himself for letting himself get down five love in the first place. If he can maintain that sort of level feel he'll get through but now Bandin is a very difficult player to get rid of very difficult 2-1 now Bandian and the tiebreaker Wonderful play from Nal Bandian. Great drop shot, brings Federer in, who did so well and attacked the ball. And Nal Bandian is so quick, his reflexes, you just watch this. Here's, here's the drop shot. Now watch this, it's going to be a cross court from Federer. And look how Nal Bandian moves and picks it up with, with time. Anticipates, anticipates Federer's ball so well. 3-1 Nal Bandian. Four one. That's a big lead. So Federer will serve this point. The players will then change ends as they do every six points. And the best he can hope for is being down four two. Absolutely vital. Federer wins both these points, but pressure on Nal Bandian. David Nalbandian with a 5-1 lead here in the tiebreaker. He's two points away from the second set. He's up five love in games. Federer came back to five all. Found herself in a tiebreaker. The momentum having swung over to Roger Federer's side. Now all of a sudden it's Nalbandian who has seized control of this tiebreaker. Slightly different. If it was Nalbandian was erotic, then you'd think, hello. This set is pretty much over. But now Bandian hasn't got a massive serve, even though it's accurate. So if Federer can just hold here, 5 2, just win this point, he surely could perhaps break one of the two Nell Bandian serves, but it's going to be close. Oh, that's an awesome. unbelievable return. And now five set points for David Nell Bandian to try to level this match at a set apiece. Well, if Roger Federer was five games to love down and came back to five all, this will be even better. Six points to one down, five set points. Can he save five set points? 
the chances are, shall we say, slim. Very slim. So David Nalbandian wastes no time in closing out the second set tiebreaker. He wins the set 7-6. Well, let's look at this uh, match wow. overall. You, you just think, as the announcer cuts and trusts. Here we have David Nell Bandier, set down, races to five love up. Here's the, here's the last point, which is the one with a lovely forehand So it's five love up, and he thinks, I'm almost home here for one set all. Half an hour later or so, 20 minutes later, it's five all, and he just squeezes out the set in the tie break. Now, the resolve shown by Nalbandian in that tie break set was very solid. And even though he got caught at five all, I don't think having been caught at five all, it's really affected him. There you see Federer, lots more winners, a lot more unforced errors. Federer trying to make the pace all the time, obviously four aces as well, and Nalbandian's got not a big serve, no aces so far in the match. So from an Albandian point of view, once at all, so he's quite comfortable, even though he got caught. As for Roger Federer, having played abysmally for five games with Nalbandian's standard going up, he then puts on a blaze of shots and power, catches five all, his opponent, goes to the tie break, and then loses it. How much is the confidence factor going to affect Federer? Now, now Albandian, now Albandian's confidence doesn't really drift too much. But this man here, when he's on, he's on. When he's off, he yeah. can go right off. And you just feel, can he put that set behind him, having made such a dramatic comeback? Can it be like his new, fresh shirt? Can he forget what's happened before? I think he can. And I think this match is absolutely locked. It is, obviously, one set all, but mentally, I think it's dead level as well. Now, Bandian level with his confidence, not shaken, not stirred, not upset. He's sure he's got that second set. It took him a long time to do it, but he made it. As for Federer, he can take from it, hey, I was five love down, I've got the capacity to win five games in a row, and I've got the skill and the artistry to beat this man. It is absolutely poised into a real thriller. David Nalbandian going with a fresh pair of socks. He, he's a, a heavy pers perspirer, I guess. He's been through, I think, three or four shirts already. Now a change of socks. It is a humid day out here, but it's supposed to get much cooler. Let me tell you the good news. All these outstanding matches that have to be completed by the end of the day, they're all on court, and they're all playing. And I feel if we can just get a two or three hours yeah. here, another couple of hours, and it's still clear overhead, I think we could complete today and still have the Time. tournament Time. back on schedule. So Roger Federer <coughs> will serve to open the third set. These guys have played a five-setter once. It was earlier this year at the Australian Open. <coughs> they split the first two sets, and then now Bandian was able to come ahead in five. Third set. That was a round of 16 at the Australian Open. This is the round of 16 at the U.S. Open. First point, third set. Both points. And remember, Nalbandian already had a five set match here, which he won against Jakob Niemann in the second round. Love it. Love it. So now, both of these players got to get away to a good start here, and Federer got to forget the disappointment which he must be feeling and he's got to continue serving the way he has done win his serve decisively here even though he lost the first point Love that sort of slap forehand is very similar to the way he started the second set and he lost all those games it's a matter of confidence for this man and now Bandian knows how to beat the Wimbledon champion of 30. <laughs> oh, 
Federer winning fewer than half of his second serve points now gives now Banyan three break chances in the opening game of this third set. Love 40. And in that second set, now Bandian's first two service games, he won absolutely no points. And here we are, Love 40. He's just a confidence player. He just drifts with the wind. That's beautiful, wrong flipping shot. 15 points. sudden Federer gets confident again starts to go for his shots get that right at now Bandian there's still a break point at 30 40 and a big point Sam this is very big for both players David now Banyan with a fist pump and a scream and as he has taken the opening game of this third set. More importantly, it's a break of serve for the number 13 seed. Show you how strong David now Bandian is and how, I hate to say it, frail in confidence sometimes at that level that Federer is. Oh, Mount. Now Banyan seems to be so mentally tough, as you Very. said. Even when he was losing the five games in a row, it was more Federer in my opinion, raising his level of play more so than now Bandian becoming all of a sudden mentally unstable in some way and giving it away. Totally agree with you. One love for now Bandian. Got to remember, now Bandian comes from a country which Sam referred to as nine players in the top 100 in Argentina. He's always had to battle hard to get to the top. Oh, and therefore mental strength is very important. As for Federer, you know, Switzerland don't produce a tremendous amount of players, but the ones they do do are fantastic. Martina Hingis, of course, won Wimbledon. Uh, won, um, won a number of titles, not Wimbledon. And Federer, of course, did win Wimbledon, so they do produce quality, but not in numbers. Argentina have produced a lot in quantity. Well, and what you're yeah, saying, yeah. David, is, is backed up by a Davis Cup. Look at Argentina now. Again, second year in a row, they're in the semifinals. We've got a tremendous Argentina Davis Cup team right now. They will be playing later this month against Spain in this year's semifinals. Now it's Roger Federer with three break points on the now Bandian serve. So Federer raising his game to the level of now Bandian. This is what's got to happen here. They've both got to raise their levels and see what happens. Federer, though, has got more of everything. I really think it's a psychological barrier that Federer faces here. He's got the weaponry to beat this man, who is extremely difficult to play. A late call. So, two fairly easy breaks for each player here to start this third set, and it is one all. 103 minutes gone <coughs> in this level. Three sessions we've had. They restarted, what is it, 3-2 in the first set, was it? Right. Such a long time ago. To Roger Federer. We've had a long spell now of play. Hopefully it's going to continue. No threat of rain at the moment. Grey skies overhead, but... I think it's proceeding quite well now. Well, just to give you an idea of how even this match is, though the statistic sometimes is, is not accurate, each player now has won 75 points in this match. Love 15. Ah! 
forehand again. It's that forehand volley that has missed a lot. He, he placed it beautifully. He knew where he wanted to put it, but just that control is not quite there. I have a feeling he'll be hitting a lot of forehand volleys tomorrow in practice if he wins this match. Even, even, if, he even if he loses. <laughs> yeah. Better oh, so. needed it. Comes up with his eighth ace to get his first point of this game. 15-30. Forcing the error. Now you've got to admire Federer. Served well, came in, said to Nalbandian, pass me. Well, he passed him, but it was wide. 30 all now. Wonderful play from Albanian. He doesn't come up to the net very often. Well, are we going to see three breaks in a row here? 30 -30. Great point for Albanian at 30-40. Great depth of shot from Albanian, and look at the follow-up. He knew when to come up on the short ball. He is a bit underestimated, Albanian. I tell you. Right on the line. Now Banyan nice. thinks it was wide. Maybe we'll see another look at it. I like to see that actually because he just felt it was very close. It is. Here we go. Well, that's what I thought. Wide. So Federer now the benefit of a call. He had a bad call go against him in the last set. At last he gets a forehand volley in the salmon. Yeah, There's a bit of luck and the forehand volley working. He's got a chance to go 2 1 up with the serve. I wonder how difficult it is for the umpire to see under this on this dark day. The lights just now starting to kick in. Game the the line judge there should have spotted it, but hey, that's tennis. So Federer hold serve for the first time here in this third set. Now Bandian will be serving at 1-2. So the match poised. 2-1 to Federer. And really you find it very difficult to pick a winner. It's been uh, interesting to watch which players look at the Jumbotron screen and which don't. Federer is a, is a watcher of the huge jumbotron screen at each end of the stadium. Now Banyan has pretty much stayed focused straight ahead during these changeovers. I'll tell you one player loves looking at the jumbotron is Jennifer Capriati. Yeah, Andy she Roddick too. She, she even watches the adverts. Well the other night during a, a little bit of a rain delay when Justine Inna Arden was out on the court and uh, they were just sitting on the court waiting and the people running the jumbotron decided to play some dancing music and so they would show fans in the crowd and you would have thought she was uh, perhaps at a comedy club she was laughing so hard in her chair at, at what the fans were doing just before the start of her match so it's definitely a time, time. unique element here at the u.s open well at the moment david now bandian number 13 seed holding his own with the number two seed now bandian will be serving at one two we are at one set apiece on this dark Thursday evening, approaching evening. It is Thursday, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's quarter past six on Thursday night <laughs> here in New York. The day's running together. I can't quite remember what's happened the last four days. Now Bandian serving with new balls, one, two in this third set. 13. Wow, that's quite a moment, isn't it, for yeah. Nell Bandian? First ace of the <laughs> match. Took him an hour and 48 minutes to achieve it, and 
has come at a good time. Albanian starting strong here. Two winners to start this game. He places the ball so well. His movement and his the way he places his body in position to hit the ball, he strikes the ball beautifully and it looks effortless and that's the star quality of this uh, good craftsman as well. And now 40 lock. Albanian was broken in his opening service game of this set. You can't play that intensely throughout a match and the intensity was certainly in the end of that tie break. He's done that a few times as well. And it's two all to start set number three. So there are patterns, there are patterns in tennis and they, they had the, the intensity towards the end of the second set of course in the tie break. Both of them dropped a little bit in their standard. Both dropped their serves at the start of this third. And you'll find over the next few games, I think, that they're just trying to hang on to their serves and not be so intense. Take the opportunity when it comes. Okay. Been overruled. Okay. The umpire says it's out. He looked out. And Federer is not happy. Did look out, I must say. Yeah, as well out. Good, good call by the umpire. Better upset that thought the umpire maybe was trusting the word of now Bandian over his own eyes, but it's clear. Oh. Uh, David now Bandian now up love thirty. Now uh, Bandian is not the type of opponent that would allow Federer to kind of come in and out of these zones. He's such a fighter. Off 30 here. Good chance for now Bandian. Shot just exploded with top spin. 30 all now. String went there. Did you sit the frame? Oh. That sounded like yeah. a string going. <laughs> that was a string. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Federer's done that quite a few times on in the this mishits. match. Yeah, you certainly on the backhand, Sam. You're right, dead right. You hear the frame, and it does sound like the pop of a broken string. But that broken string was costly for now Bandian because now Federer with a game point at 40-30 he was very much in that point when the string breaks the tension in the racket drastically drops and you pretty much just have to run in and hope your opponent misses or you can get some sort of easy little volley there's no way to rally with a broken string from the baseline there's that swinging volley Taking a pretty easy shot and making it difficult. Federer is good enough to pull it off most of the time, but misses there. It's deuce. Oh! 
fair call, I would call that. <laughs> Yeah, and now gain point for Federer to keep the pressure on. Now Banyan, Federer serving from in front here in the third set. Good angle from Nalbandian on the line. Just hanging in here in this game. Oh, it's a lot of topspin that dragged the ball back onto the line. Race number 10 for Roger Federer, 122 miles an hour. His fastest serve has been 128. And that, race number 11. Now Bandian thinks it was wide, but Roger Federer grabs the game in a 3-2 lead here in the third. Well, back-to-back -back aces from Federer. The that one a little bit dubious. Now Bandian not too happy, especially he's putting in a good attempt there. But it was on the line, and uh, well, there it is. Hawkeye, what a marvelous piece of technology. It just begs the question, doesn't it? That I wonder, somewhere down the line, the umpire's a little screen. And he just presses the button for the replay, and I'm not sure that it's a hundred percent there. But they certainly use it in a number of other sports, including the English game of yeah. cricket. Some of you know cricket, some of you don't. But where this sort of Hawkeye, is, this Hawkeye machinery, this Hawkeye technology is very good. And for tennis, it's absolutely wonderful. I think it adds an extra dimension. Yeah, it definitely does. It's uh, used a lot here in the United States. It's used mostly with the uh, network ESPN and now the American network which has the rights here USA network is, is using it if you're watching us on the weekend when CBS has the coverage they have another type of camera they call the <coughs> Mac cam which is named after John McEnroe and it actually shows the live ball it's not animated and now Banyan now serving at 2-3 <laughs> Of course, all of the, the nations here at the U.S. Open taking the same television feed. Some have the ability to adjust things every once in a while. But we're all basically seeing the same pictures. Wonderful control, and again, the, the one big shot, if it is a big Third shot, or heading yeah. towards a big shot, for the Argentine, David Albanian, is this double-handed backhand down the line to the Federer forehand. That is, I've seen him win a lot of points over the last couple of years with that shot. It really is penetrating. A lot of pace well, and steel on it. Well, each man was broken in his opening service game in this third set, and now everyone seems to be... Holding fairly easily here. They're just, just settling down here for the big attack in the later stages of this set, which will be happening in two or three games' time. Oh, yeah. Now Banyan really <laughs> pushing it there. Still comfortably ahead, though, 40-15. It's 
smiles at himself, knew that was a giveaway. Eleven matches currently being played as the they start this backlog of hundreds of matches behind schedule. The singles need 13 matches completed today. One's already been completed. Game now yeah, Bandian. So now Bandian levels the third set at three all. Tied at a set apiece. Federer won the first 6-3. Now Bandian in a strange second set. Won the second in a tiebreaker, and now we're three all in the third. I think this is where uh, both players start to focus just a little bit more. Not that they haven't been, they have, but they know how important it is, and this is where tactics come into play. And you just feel Federer there with his serve and, and volley with that extra variety. If he can make sure his forehand volley is working well and he's serving well, you just feel he's got the upper hand, and of course, he's got the advantage of serving first in this set. Hold on here, put pressure on Nel Bandian, who's playing pretty solid tennis at the moment. Great deep shot from Nel Bandian. Nel Bandian on offense there, despite Federer serving 15 all. Bandian with a 15-30 lead. Federer is not keen to get involved in a rally. He has spells of just massive attacks. Yeah. You just feel a bit more patience. Again, select the shot, come in on the right ball. He's got all this talent. And you just feel tactically, it's easy here in the commentary box, it's not just quite there. He's got all this talent to beat this very solid opposition. Greater than that, is he now, Bandian? But it was right on his toes. It's the right play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the feeling, David, that Roger Federer would be almost impossible to beat, perhaps, if coaches were allowed on the court with the players. Yeah, I just need a word in his ear, but I, I'm just a bit surprised the way Federer's played today. Four two. He's had two plans, and, you know, one of them, this, this aggressive style, is, has played, paid dividends, but. You've got to mix it up. You can't just keep hitting the ball so hard all the time. He's not an Andy Roddick. That's his natural game. Federer is a can really caress the ball and come in on the right shot. Now, it's a little bit slow there, and it was a good return from Nel Bandian. Very makeable volley, though. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I would. He was just a little bit slow, and the ball was dipping. Just need to be a little bit quicker inside that T-junction. See now Banyan excited about his opportunity here at Deuce. That was and a great return, Bandian. He makes Nalbandian. the most of it. It's David now Banyan now with a break point. Chance to move ahead 4-3. Now Banyan today, three for nine on break point chances. This is his tenth of the match. And it's a race with an ace down the middle. That, again, is the hallmark of a top player. They can just raise their game, certainly on a, on a serve. And he did it with a fantastic ace. Not that quick, actually. Only 113, but so accurate. Just beginning to get towards the beginning of the crunch end of the set. And you know, wherever you're watching, you know how vital this particular game is at Juice. Again, another good serve down the middle. Now Banyan really staring 
at those center lines. Was was close. Very close. Game point for Federer. Let this nice. That was a fortunate first serve hitting the net with all that pace and bounced in. Oh, yes. Well, Federer has definitely struggled on his second serve. He's won fewer than half the points. And here in this third set, just 6 of 16, he's won on his second serve. If Noel Band didn't credit, took the ball early. And that double-handed backhand down the line again. And there's another great return. He's got his fist pumping here. And he's just hit a lovely purple patch of form. Now another break point for now, Bandian. See it again. Just guides it down the line. Big points here. Big serve. Yes, yes. Federer has been able to serve his way out of it so far in this game. Very long game at three all here in the third. Fourth deuce. Well, twice Pedro has gone for that wide forehand. And now Banyan has read it and delivered his return with a lot of interest. Great point again. Second serve. that now Bandian there was just going to be too strong. He was moving into position beautifully all the time. But Federer counteracted really, really well. And now Bandian <laughs> just desperate to get a break here. Big game, this huge game. Roger Federer, after five deuces, now with a chance to hold and move ahead 4-3. You see Federer has been into the net over twice as many times as now Bandian. And there it is. So Federer stares down break points, but comes through with the hold, and he's up 4-3. So what's the difference between these two at the moment? Okay, one game, and Federer's serve first. But it's Federer's serve that just has that greater impact. And it's his volley as well. Now, he's missed quite a few volleys, but the sheer positive play of Federer, you just feel, gives him the edge at the moment. And it's a matter of Federer winning or losing this set, we feel. Because if he does come in behind his serve and he punches away his volleys, he's home. On the other hand, now Bandian is just a wonderful returner of serve. He is so quick. There cannot be too many other players on the tour that can read a serve so quickly, get into position, and then hit that ball with great interest. And he's done it quite a few times. So this match is literally locked pretty level. And then you just look for the answers. Who is going to win? Federer with his extra ability. 
on all fronts. His good serve, his volleys, which are not brilliant at the moment, especially on the returns of Nel Bandian. And nice also nice. his confidence that swings like a pendulum. One minute it's high and he delivers four or five great winners. Next minute he loses four or five. <laughs> and there you've got Nel Bandian, who is so consistent, hardly ever drops off the pace. Very difficult to beat. And you just think this match is absolutely level with this man here, Roger Federer, just ahead because he served first at the start of this set. 4-3 to Federer. Now Bandian to serve. Clever play that from Federer. He hit a couple of hard balls, not massively hard. Then he put in the slice to vary the pace. Got a mistake out of Nalbandian, which isn't too often. And that's a vital first point. But if he can break here, he'll serve for a two sets to one lead. Clever play from the Wimbledon champion. Oh, yes. And how, un how unbelievable <laughs> would that be, David? Because it just feels it like... Is. Now Bandian is the better player at the moment. He's certainly striking the ball better, but it's the fluctuation in Federer's yeah. game and the stable, as you said, and solidity of now Bandian. He doesn't really change up or change down too much, but Federer does. Federer will want to keep Nalbandian out of a fifth set. Nalbandian six and one in his career in five set matches. No, it's been the baseline judge. It's called good. Put, put her hand out, and then she changed her mind. I was looking right at the baseline judge, and she put the palms down. No complaints. Better looking at it, but not arguing. Shakes his head a little bit. Now, now, Bandian with a 40-15 lead in this game. Trying to get to four all, third set. And then we'll right, we're in, right in the crunch of this set. There it is. So we are tied at four apiece deep into this third set. I do like that and when he's got the opportunity at the net, having produced such good shots, he's there and he does put it away. Certainly in the last game. Now Bandian only comes in when he has to, only when it's just very obvious he needs to be there. He's, he's, he's not a favorite of the net. Fedra doesn't mind being up there but he's missed quite a few while he has been there. So the winner of this game will be a game away mm -hmm. from the third set. First point here at four all, second serve. Not a big crowd here, but they are enjoying an intriguing battle.
Good tennis. Yeah. There's so much tennis going on right now. I'm sure the fans are sort of spread out. A lot of people have given up because of the weather. You can certainly select a lot of matches, a lot of singles being played at the moment. You can have your pick of a host of top players to watch. I think we're watching the best one at the moment. This is the closest, the toughest, and becoming one of the longest. <laughs> now, is this going to be one of Federer's low moments? This consistent nagging return of Nal Bandian. Double fault gives now Bandian two break points here at 15.40. This is so huge because if now Bandian can get one of these, he would then serve for a two sets to one lead. Again, Federer has never beaten now Bandian as a professional. Let's eat the sets. Oh, brilliant change. There it is, David Nalbandian. Now a game away from a two sets to one lead, but he's got to hold. Well, Nalbandian's nerve and mental strength. Uh, and this is particularly a brilliant way that he won this vital point. Here comes the drop shot. Now you expect him. How's he going to get this down the line? And he does. He fainted across court, changed it at the last moment. And is he keen? Is he pleased? Is he up for this? I think so. And he's now 5-4 ahead. And the solidity of his game, it is so solid that Federer has had to maintain his own level just to stay with Nalbandian in this set. And if you just drop off for a moment, just for a second, Nalbandian is in. And there are a number of players who can say this has happened to them. Mark Filipousis in the last right. match. 12-10 he won the tiebreak. I saw the match to go one set all. What did Nalbandian do? Dropped just five games in the next two sets. He is a remarkable player. <coughs> he is underestimated. And I think he is, along with Guillermo Correa from Argentina, they're the Thank best team from that country. And he's very difficult to beat. This man's got everything. But he's finally... It's very difficult against Nel Bandian. It's just a clash of styles, and he finds him the most difficult of all opponents. Two sets to one. Nel Bandian could be if he wins his service game. Yeah, the uh, <coughs> players really taking their time on this changeover. They're both changing shirts, socks. It's very humid. Going through a lot of different clothes out here. Now Bandian has gotten up earlier than Federer. And it is now Bandian who will be serving for the third set to take a two sets to one lead. Picks up the first point. Got to remember, this man here, David Nelbandian, led five games to love. In the last set, Nelbandian then lost the next five to Federer. And he caught up to five all. So, in a sense, he's in a similar position. He was 5-4 down last time. That was close. Federer has a look. Well, you get the feeling if Federer loses this game in the set, we might see him doing a rain dance on the next changeover. It's 
Probably the only person in here that would want a little more rain. Risky to let that go, but it's been out on the court millions of times. Has an idea of what ball's going long and what's not. And now two set points for the number 13 seed. There's the number two seed there in danger of going down two sets to one. Bandian, 40-15, 5-4, third set. And there it is, David now Bandian in control of this match. Up two sets to one, he's a set away from knocking out the number two seed at this year's U.S. Open. Boy, David, who would have thought a set ago when he was up five love Federer came back to five all, we'd be here right now. Because it appeared that Federer was just going to steamroll through the rest of this match. Absolutely true. But look at the solidity of the man at the far end. Absolutely solid. And again, we've said it before, he, his standard, his level, on all his shots, his confidence does not vary that much. And the only reason why people don't notice him because he is not spectacular. He hasn't got a big shot. His best shot is that double-handed backhand down the line. But he is one of the best returners of a ball. He makes very few errors, by and large. He's made 23 less errors to Federer's 53. He's only made 30 in three sets. So 10 errors a set. Yep. Unforced errors. So we see the third set summary. That third set not lasting as long as the first. But the result the same, now Bandian winning it. First serve percentage, huge for now Bandian in that third set. Just go down to the net points won. Um, even though Federer won 11 out of 20, that seems quite a lot to lose. It's the quality of the return of the Argentine that's been a major factor. And this consistent pressure coming at you, this continuous return of the ball, Federer's standard just dropped for a moment and he was broken. And I think Federer finds that just so difficult. And he says, well, look, if I just get embroiled like in that. this match, like just hitting the ball back all the time, I'm going to lose. So he, he goes out of his way to go for too much. And eventually he is punished because it's very difficult to focus against the player who's continually returning the ball. Nevertheless, this man here has got the ability to win this set and go on to a five-set win. So Roger Federer now serving... In the opening game of the fourth set. Whoa. We've seen eight breaks of serve in this match. for each player. Well, the clouds are still quite high. They don't look too threatening. There is a possibility of rain, but this weather that's been sitting over the stadium for the last four days has allowed only, what, five hours of play before this match started in four days is slowly, slowly tapering away. Game point for Federer here in the opening game of the fourth set. And there it is. So Roger Federer holding it love to start the fourth set. But it's that man who has a two sets to one lead at the moment. David, a, a good sign if you're, if you're an American 
And when the blimp shows up, you know the weather is supposed to be nice because uh, sure, actually, yes. they do not send the blimp up if there's a threat of any type of severe weather, and it is hovering over the stadium now. You saw, you see now Banyan glancing up at it and Federer looking at it when it first appeared. It's not directly over the stadium, but that's a good sign in terms of the weather. That means uh, we should be okay. Which means we're on course for a women's final on Saturday night here in New York and a men's final on Sunday afternoon. Albanian serving love one fourth set. <laughs> so meticulous. Just threads the needle. Places the ball where he wants to place it. And he makes it look so easy. All because he is very quick. I just feel Federer here needs to get away to a flying start. A break here would obviously do him a power of good, but he just needs a, a little bit of surge of confidence. He's certainly still in this match by a long way, but he just needs an early break, and right. that will you'll see him probably almost race through, just open up with those shots that he's got and try to drive Nalbandian off the court if he could, which is extremely difficult. Difficult to beat that. Now 30-15. Federer has won five titles this year, tied with Andy Roddick, and he's won those titles on every surface. Complete player. A rare double fault. Could prove costly. Fourth of the match for Nalbandian. The reason why that was going to prove costly, Nalbandian's just won the previous set. There's usually a reaction when you've just lost, when you've just won a set. Good chance here for Federer, 30 all. Oh, <laughs> what a way to reply. Well done, David Nalbandian. This match now coming up on two and a half hours. So just the second ace for now, Bandian. But at a crucial time, he gets to game point. And he's got it. So the fourth set begins with each player holding. It's one all. Well, if Roger Federer is going to win this match, he's got to do it in five sets. And he's won six times and lost <coughs> six times in five sets. And I think you pointed out just before, didn't you? Right. Now, Bandian's got a great five-set record. Only ever lost one out of seven. New balls, though, for Federer. Seven at one all in the fourth. One of those five-set victories here at the U.S. Open for now Bandian, we mentioned. In his second round, beating Yarko Neiman in five sets. 7 6 in the fifth. And also, in a sense, more important now, Bandian this year in Melbourne, in Australia. Right. Beat Federer in five sets, 6 3 in the fifth. He was in the round of the last 16. Same round as this. And now a love 30 lead for Nalbandian. As Federer plays a couple of careless points to start this third game.
how well read by Mel Van Dien, yeah. making Federer play the extra ball. And look yeah, what's happened now, Sam. A great lesson for young players out there to just stay in the point. Federer just gets it. I mean, now Bandian gets it back, and Federer makes the costly mistake. Now Bandian knows it. He's got three break points here. Fifteen points. This just goes to show why now Bandian is so good. He seems to know where the ball's going. He seems to watch the ball coming off his opponent's racket. He's already on his way. Great anticipation. Turn. Absolutely. And he's got oh, it. No, no, no. David Nalbandian is up a break of serve in this fourth yeah, set. He's lose. already up two he sets to one. Sets. Is that the break he needs yeah, to advance to the quarters? We'll see. Well, that break was absolutely vital for Nell Bandian and a disaster for Roger Federer. And you ask the question, why? Well, here we had Federer in charge of a rally, the, the one before the final points. And Federer was in total control with a big, easy smash. But Nell Bandian was reading it all the way. And it's this anticipation, this awareness of how to get everything back, which is his strength. And that mistake was costly for Federer. And even on that last point, the return of Nalbandian, having moved very well to a good serve of Federer, again forced the error. And you just feel now that Nalbandian obviously is in charge. Two sets to one and two one up. Look at those uh, unforced errors. Nalbandian with a total of 32 unforced errors, 26 winners to offset those. But Federer with 56 unforced 39 winners. So there's a difference of 17 for Federer and just 6 for Nalbandian. It's much more solid, doesn't make as many errors, hasn't got as many skills as his illustrious opponents. But what he's got, he uses well and plays to the maximum. And now it is David Nalbandian's match to win or lose as he is up two sets to one in a break of serve against the number two <coughs> player in the world, Roger Federer. See if Federer can pull out some of that magic that he used to get back into the second set. Love it. Love it. Once again, Federer on that backhand has hit a shot off the frame. That must be his, what, fifth? Yeah, he's fifth hit, hit that frame oh. several times instead of the strings. Nice looking return, sneaks it up the line. 15.30. This is what Federer needs. He's got to break back immediately because he just gives Nell Bandian a lead like this and two sets to one down. It's going to play heavily on him and he breathes in lots of air. He knows how vital these next few points are. Better a little impatient there. Really trying to create a great shot that wasn't there. Thirty all. really edging here to a dis almost a decisive lead. Albanian trying to move ahead 3-1. Things not going Federer's way. So many unforced errors. So 
David Nalbandian consolidates the break and moves ahead 3-1. The trend of the Nalbandian dominance over Roger <laughs> Federer just continuing here in this round of 16. Federer still with plenty of time though to get back in this set. Serving at 1-3. Well now Bandian has a little bit of uh, space here. He, if he breaks Federer again, well that's wonderful. But here he can swing, he can have a go, he can relax knowing that he's just got to hold his serve and win the match. But he's got to do it three times. And he hasn't got the biggest of serves but he has delivered those serves well. And you can see Federer in front, front of him just gone down a level or two. Fourth double fault for Federer. Needs some inspiration here from the Wimbledon champion. In a strange way, Sam, the inspiration could come when Federer thinks, well, it's almost out of my grasp. I'll relax, as he did five love down in the second set, five games to love. And he started playing very well, and this could again happen. He is an enigma. He can produce wonderful shots. See, he's relaxing even more now because he's 3-1 down, and he seems to play better from behind. Well, I've been waiting even for the crowd to really get into this match and, and get behind Federer, but it's just been a very flat it's match. Not, so it's the, not a the big crowd, crowd this time, is it? No. But in this stadium, there's still a lot of people here. And you would think they would be spurring on the Wimbledon champion. He does hold, but it's now Bandian up. One break of serve here in the fourth set. Well, here we've got a match between here, Roger Federer, the Wimbledon champion, and David Nalbandian. They've never done that well here. And uh, the New Yorkers love their own heroes, of course. And these two, they're not unknown, but they're not great stars. Federer is very well known in Europe, obviously, and now Bandian very well known in South America and also Europe simply because he got to the Wimbledon final. But here in the States, they're not big attractive stars. You need one of them to get to the semis or the final to show these people that these t one of these two players or these players are really top-notch, which they are. Well, they're each trying to get to a quarter-final of the U.S. Open for the first time. Be a, a milestone for both players. Federer is, has done really well here at the U.S. Open the past few years. He's reached the round of 16 now for the last three years, but just has not been able to get across that threshold of the fourth round. Well, that last service game was certainly very helpful. If he'd lost it, you think that's it. His chances of a back-to-back a -back <coughs> win with Wimbledon are gone. But he's still in there, and he's just got to rely on Nalbandian. Maybe, you know, heading towards the end of a match, you get a little bit tight. Right. Nalbandian hasn't got the biggest of serves, but he's still got a big chance you to get can't right back in. You can't count Federer out, and in the back of Nalbandian's mind, he remembers that second set when he was up five love and Federer came back. Even though now Bandian won it in the tiebreaker, he still came back to five all. Is that good? That is great. First point for now Bandian here at three two in the fourth. It's a really good serve. Not fast, but right in the corner with side spin. And just Federer at the moment, just lacking that sharpness, that inspiration that he needs. And Albandian, solid, dependable, reliable, stable, as he always is. And now 40 love, so Albandian not wasting any time in this game. Federer unable to produce a point so far. Can I hand it to 
Now Bandian, he's turned this match right round. He also set down, remember. Turn it right round. Oh, would you believe it? Ah. Trying to come That's in on behind his serve. Not a normal play for now, Bandian. 40 love up, that's the reason. Incredible. Okay. Trying to surprise Federer a little bit. Gotten him with that angle before. Cutter yeah, drops the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's now Bandian up 4 2 here. As I saw a crowd shot a little while ago, David. I noticed the, the great Guillermo Vilas in the stands watching. Inspiration to all. Now Bandian. Argentine players, absolutely. How about that? I mean, he was out of the point, and he scampered back to retrieve that and ends up winning it. And Federer had him all the way off the court. And he's free to do it. He's already 4-2 up. He's free to go for these shots. Federer's nose hanging over the net. Great lob. Let's see. Wow. Now Bandian is really playing at his best here. He's been consistent throughout. And now he's gone up a level you to just to close this match out. You don't think he wants this break, do you? 15-30. Oh, now Bandian saying it was out, but he's not getting the call. 30 all. He's questioned a lot of calls today. And now a game point for Federer to sort of keep the pressure on now, Bandian, if he can hold here. Bandian not ready to give it to him. Deuce. Quite right, too. He wants to really put his thumbprint on this fourth set. Uh, uh, levels are going up here, which you'd expect. 129 miles per hour. That is his fastest serve of this match. 208 kilometers an hour. This is a must-win game for Fedra. And he's going for it. And he's got it, Roger Federer. Keeping the pressure on now Bandian, but it is now Bandian still with a one-break lead here in the fourth. He needs to hold serve two more times, and he's through to the quarterfinals. Well, this match is far from over. There's the score. Federer trailing by two sets to one and 4-3 and a breakdown. But that last game just keeps Federer in it. And there's two things going to happen here. That's not Bandian. 
can he maintain this solidity that he's got? And when it comes to selling out for the match, which is always very difficult, can he maintain that relaxation and his solidity? And he's got this big factor behind him that he's beaten. As we said before, Federer on all four occasions. He knows he can finish his man off. He's done it four times before. But this is a grand slam. He did it at the Australian Open. This is the US Open. <coughs> can he do it again? And well, he's playing that well. And I would say, yes, he can do it again and win this match. As for Federer, Federer knows he's still in with a chance because he was able to come back from five love down in that second set, got it to five all, but missed out badly in the tiebreaker. So Federer, first couple of points, obviously vital, every point's vital, but Federer, <coughs> as we've always said, has got the shots to try to bait Nell Bandian, who hasn't got a big serve, and this match is still open. So David Nalbandian now with a chance <laughs> to serve here at 4-3 to move ahead to 5-3. Lights are shining brightly here in the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. He is just swinging away. Wasn't a massive fast serve, just 102, but the accuracy took Federer right out of court. And the follow-up, again, not huge pace, but so accurate. the errors are coming and, and Federer's got to find a, some inspiration here he's got to decide look I'm 4-3 down what am I going to do I've got to break here or break the very next time Nel Bandien serves and he's got to decide I'm going to hit hard or I'm going to really uh, be aggressive and come in behind a good approach so shot but he mustn't deliver any errors and that was a bad error Well, there it is. It, it, it wasn't a good serve, was it? And Federer came in, but it wasn't convincing. But he came in and won the point, and that's perhaps maybe the secret here for him, if he can squeeze back into this match, take advantage of an Albandian poor serve if it comes, and get into the net. But it's got to be a good approach. Now, now. That shot is unbelievable. Now Bandy and now at 40-15, a chance to get to 5-3. Be one game away from the quarterfinals. This would put Federer right up against the wall. Now, what's Federer going to do? He's got to go for it, surely. Just have a couple of big winners here and attack. Oh, and he stood yeah, back, yeah, yeah. and Nalbandian, absolutely brilliant. Nalbandian, yeah, so yeah, quick, yeah, yeah. saw Federer rush yeah, back. Yeah. Federer wanted to take it as yeah, late yeah. as possible, and he put in this swinging serve and a great camera shot there as the ball spun away. Absolutely <coughs> wonderful. So Nalbandian, now with a 5-3 lead. It's Roger Federer, who must hold to stay in this match. Three just, points away. You just feel it's going here. Albanian has owned Roger Federer at the ATP Tour level. Trying to make it 5-0. and oh. Two points away. Love 30. Better has been broken five times in this match. Once 
here in the fourth set. Love 30. Wow, now Bandian now with triple match point off of the drop shot. Had Federer completely out of position. And now the number 13 seed, a point away from the quarterfinals. Yeah. And he's got it. David now Bandian has upset the number two seed. Knocks out Roger Federer, the Wimbledon champion, in just under three hours. Now Bandian now 5-0 lifetime against Federer.